And we're biggity back. Are we back? No, we're, what? we're biggity back. What's I the difference just between, said that. What's the difference between back and biggity back? I mean, really? <laughs> All right. So this is Gravatar on the list of games that we don't understand. Oh, yeah, no, that... This, what you're seeing on the screen right now is bullshit, which will never happen. Well, except for that crashing and dying. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is one of the games that when we talk about games, we don't know why they're on the list. This is the first one I think of. Because, yeah, it's a fine game. I don't need to play this before I die. But this is Gravatar. Did I already say that? Did I yeah. say this is Gravatar? Yeah. Well, now it's, as you can see, it's Gravatar, but it's crazy. So this game is the bastard child of fucking... Um, Lunar Lander. Lunar Lander and Asteroids. Uh, and what you do is you fly in your little ship here, and you get on to destroy these asshole turrets who are trying to kill you for God knows what reason. <sighs> My guess, because you're trying to blow them up. Well, I mean, I'm... You're um, flying to their home base and destroying them. All I'm going to say is, is that I'm only trying to blow them up because they're trying to blow me up. So if you want to try... And because you get points. Well, okay, okay, that's a decent point. Oh, fuck. Am I fucked? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, I missed him. I missed him. And he got me. Daniel? Mm-hmm. <sighs> So, okay, since this is sort of a jumping off point, let's talk about um, lack of innovation in early arcade games and how we don't believe that they should be, you know, played before you die. So, like, this makes the list, Gorf makes the list, but Contra can go fuck itself. Also, Metroid. What other, what are the, oh, The Uncanny no. X-Men arcade game. And the other one I've been thinking about recently, too, you know what game isn't on this list? Hmm. Mega Man 2. Or any of the Mega Mans, except for 9. Yeah. It's just, it's baffling. Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this by the ass. I think, no, I accidentally left. Where am I? There I am. It didn't, usually if you fly off screen like that, nicely played, Tom. <laughs> right into the mountain. Uh, uh, which way do I want to do this? I'm going to go, no, I'm not going to go around the long way. Um, usually if you fly off the screen there, it just sends you back to the main map. So tell me what... Why do you think this game would be chosen for a game you should play before you die? Spite. Daniel. A general dislike of humankind. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Okay, can I get him from this angle? No. God damn it! Okay, so I'm going to try again, but I, I always go for the 8,000.1 first for reasons that you'll see... If he ever when beats I, them. Oh, no, it's when I beat it. I'm making it happen. I'm going all the way. So tell me what you know or think about about Gravatar. I know nothing about Gravatar aside from the fact that it's... Aside from what you've told me, which is eventually, if you get far enough, oh. the levels go invisible. Well, and I told you about why that is, right? Because I never expected anybody to get that far. This game was developed by Atari essentially to be the hardest game they ever made. So it reached a point where... The developers in their development cycle were like, you know what? No one's ever going to make it this far. Let's just make the levels... <laughs> I, the, basically, they stopped working on the game and the levels become invisible because they never thought anyone would get that far. That is, I think, what pisses me off about this game the most. It's not that it's too hard. It's not that, you know... <laughs> it's not that you fly into an asteroid like an asshole because that made it right there look like I accelerated into it, didn't it? Didn't look like. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, it's just that the, the developers gave up making the game because they figured, ah, no one will get this far anyway. I think that's one of the reasons. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna spit some 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 profanity. No. Uh, what is it when you when you say something bad about someone? Well, that could be a number of different words. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to think of the one that I want to use here. I'm going to throw some shade at Vintage Atari. Ready? Shade? Really? Yeah. Try again. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to late. I'm going to talk about why I think Vintage Atari got too big for their own good. So at this point, um, it's still, I think, 1982. Is this 1982? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Didn't I give you a copy of the fucking list? Oh, yeah, which I read through every night before bed. Uh, well, then you should know this, shouldn't you? Yeah, sorry. I just I keep glossing over this okay. chapter. <laughs> the chapter on Gravatar and why it's bad and you should feel bad? No, the chapter on the 1001 video games you <laughs> must play before you die. Okay. Um, I read all the other chapters. What are the... Wait, if there's, if there's a one chapter on uh, the 1001 video games you must play before you die, what are all the other chapters? The prologue. The epilogue. Oh, okay. The Great. credits. 
Thanks, Daniel. Thanks for paying attention to the important parts. Um, well, I need to know who wrote the book, right? right? So I can put a hit out on them. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Um, Atari at this point, I think that this is getting... This is getting towards the end of 1982 or right at the beginning of 1983. Atari had worked themselves into a hole. Um, and that's what caused the the video game crash in 1983. A lot of people like to point out that, you know, E.T. sucked and that's the reason that the video game uh, the video games crashed. It wasn't just E.T. It was Atari's entire fucking mindset. So, like, Atari at this point thought, hey, we're invisible. We can just turn out whatever trash we want to and people will buy it. By invisible, do you mean invincible? What did I say? Invisible. Nobody knows where we are. We're not on anybody's radar. Oh, did I say invisible instead of invincible? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, maybe they thought they were invisible, too. Maybe they thought they had superpowers. Um, they thought they were invincible. <laughs> they, they were high on all the drugs they've been doing from the money they were making off oh, of video games. dude, if you knew anything about the way that... My God! That, um that Atari's headquarters was running those days, that's not a joke. That's like, Atari at that point was basically a bunch of hippies getting together to make video games, and absolutely drugs were a thing that happened there. I was so close. But they basically thought that they could do no wrong, and that no matter what they made, people were gonna buy it. Um, the problem is, is that their products just started to suck more and more as time went on. So Take this, that one right there out first. Yeah, that's an excellent point. I was just thinking that. Um, because... Oh, there we go. Okay. And I even didn't die. Hey. Nice. So, you got games like this, which I don't think, I don't think Gravatar is all that great. I know that it's someone out there, it's their favorite game, so I apologize to the person that I just insulted. But games like this, games like E.T., games on the Atari 2600 were getting progressively worse. There's only, when you consider that the 2600 is one of the longest running game consoles in terms of its lifespan, there are, we played Combat. We played Pong and Breakout, which didn't even debut on that console. We just played the version of that console. <laughs> I know, it just fucked me, right? Um, we played uh, Combat, Pong, Breakout, and what we played Adventure. Adventure is really um, one of the only original games that came out for that. That and Combat. There's only one more game on the list. It's the Atari 2600, even though that's one of the most important video game consoles of all time. Because in terms of games, motherfucker! In terms of games... Motherfucker. Yeah, in terms of games, motherfucker. Um, in terms of games, Atari... Like, there's there are a lot of good games for the Atari 2600. Like, mm, this is so frustrating. Like, uh, Bomb Jack and... Uh, Poor Jack. I'm sorry, maybe it's not Bomb Jack. Maybe it's Kaboom that I'm thinking of. Um, but there are a bunch of games on that that are a lot of fun. And the arcade ports, for the most part, were good. Uh, oh, I forgot that I was going to take that one out first, yep. didn't I? The arcade ports are for the most part good, but in terms of first party games, Atari didn't, I don't think they really knew what to do yet. The biggest first party game is the one that I talked about in uh, another series. Which one was it? I don't remember now. But, uh, you know what? I'm going to kill this guy too because he's right here. Um, Atari only had a couple of really big first party hits, and then I think they just kind of ran out of ideas. So you wind up with, you know, bastard children of their other games like this, uh, or shitty uh, home console games like E.T. And, the more they sucked, I think the more people caught on to the fact that they weren't they weren't they weren't as good as they should have been. And so the video game economy crashed, basically. The video game economy, that's the way I should put it, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. And then, you know, Nintendo saved Nintendo saved video games. And for that I am forever grateful. My only problem is that Nintendo saved video games by saying video games are totes for children. Um and that is a perception we are still trying to kick. I guess that's kind of true, isn't it? We, well, I mean, to a certain degree. I mean, we've got enough, like, you know, oh, God. Fuck. Fuck. You know what button I haven't been using? The shield button? Or the tractor button? Uh, oh, it's just tractor here, It's just here, a tractor here. Ah, you can't use the shield on here. Okay. Um, I guess we've had enough war games now that it's not 100% that games are for kids, is it? Uh, there's still a distinct perception that they're infant baby games. Really? Yeah. Huh, even with shit like Grand Theft Auto being, you know, like, the worst thing that ever happened to mankind. 
Yeah, of course, because it's the worst thing that ever happened to mankind, because why would an oh, eight-year-old cor- play this? Why are we corrupting the children? Yeah. I understand. Why are you making a video game that eight-year-olds are going to play about sex and violence? Well, because eight-year-olds need to know about sex and violence. Come on. That's why kids. That's why parents take their kids to Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers! I know this is well past Deadpool coming up, but don't take your kids to see Deadpool! Or anything with rated R that's rated R. That's the one that baffles me. The fact that that movie was rated R and there were still reports of people taking their kids to it. Well, nobody pays attention to the rating. Why? Well, that's that's why you get things like people buying their 13-year-old Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I guess that's true. I just figured that, you know, parents don't care. I rocked that life. Wow. Were you trying to take him out with you? <laughs> yeah, I was like, if I can't live, you can't either. Oh, I didn't even get the fuel. Ugh. I don't... Daniel... Am I justified in not liking this game? Yeah, it's a bad game. Is it? Okay. Now, do you not like- Sorry, it's a neat concept that they just, because they looked at it and said, we're going to make this the hardest game we ever made, they made a bad game. Uh, The concept isn't bad. The game they turned out was bad. Fair enough. I thought that you were going to say you didn't like it because it's derivative of things that they've already made. Because Lunar Lander isn't bad. I think Lunar Lander is a great game. But it's not necessarily, like, it is derivative, but it's not like it's gorf. It's not like it literally just carbon copied something else. True. Because if I were to, like, just because something has similar qualities doesn't mean that it's the same game. Quake was not Doom. True. That's very true. And which is funny because, I mean, Everything Quake, was called Doom clones. Well, and the other thing is, is that Quake isn't Doom, but it's damn close. Um, I think that it's fair to say that um, do Quake could be easily considered like, you know, Doom 3 before there was a Doom 3. Because it's basically the same fucking story. God damn it. All the weapons are similar. No, they're um, not. Uh, Your main weapon is a shotgun instead of a pistol. Well, you t- then very quickly upgrade to the double shotgun. You then get the nail gun, which... Uh, is way more powerful than the machine gun ever was. It is not It is not just another machine. What were you even doing? It pulled me so hard, there was no way that I could recover. Fair enough. Um, the lightning gun is nothing like the BFG. Uh, you know what? I suppose that's true. They're still very much inspired by the way that Doom was. Um, they went far more action-heavy because your first weapon is a shotgun that you don't have to reload. You just... Yeah. Also, they went far more medieval as opposed to, like, Satan-y. <laughs> like, with knights and, uh, and shit like that. I love both those games. They went, you know what they did? What did they do? They, they sat down and said, okay, so here's what we were thinking. Uh-huh. What if... What if... In medieval Europe... Yeah. Cthulhu invaded. Oh, shit, because, oh, yeah, Shubnagarth is even, um, like, all tentacly and shit. And his name's Shubnagarath. Is it Shubnigarath if I've always pronounced that wrong? I don't know. I haven't seen... I don't know. I, I couldn't even tell you how it's spelled. I haven't looked at it in so long. Yeah. But, I mean, think about that, and then think about all of the different Cthulhu monsters. Ah, uh, it's true. With all their funny names and weird tentacly shit. And the apostrophe Nigaroths and so on. Yes. Because that's actually... That is a fairly... Uh, a fairly well-used trope in the Cthulhu-verse. Oh, I got it. Okay. I just gotta, Daniel, I gotta, I gotta not let... You gotta gotta, not do that right there? I gotta not let that happen. (laughs) Okay. How much time we got left in this episode? Because I gotta, I gotta beat this level. I have to beat this one level. You have to beat one level? I have to beat one, well, I mean, I could, I could just go to the first level. Because I'm technically going to, like, the fourth level. I'm starting on, like, the fourth level here. But you'll see why in just a second. Did I get it? I didn't get it, and... We will not see why in just a second. No? Ah! Daniel? Mm-hmm. You got one more try. <sighs> Seriously? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, we are not cars. cars. Then why were you just driving a car? I wasn't driving a car. I was making noises with my face. My yeah. face hole. You were making car noises. I was making disgruntled noises. You Shit. were a disgruntled car. Oh, okay. Well, now, you know what? Before you weren't talking sense. Now it all makes sense. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, good. Get him on the way by. Fuck. Nope. Fuck! Daniel? Yeah? It's too hard. 
Like, you know how I don't like Defender because Defender is too hard? Mm -hmm. It's the exact same story, except stupider and harder. Okay, so if I can swing around and get this guy. Okay. What are the chances I can do it again? Shit. Okay, I've got two lives. I can kill three of these things with two lives, right? Mm, no. Oh. Well, your vote of confidence is appreciated, asshole. <sighs> I don't want to get too close because he'll hit me. And if there's one thing I don't like, Daniel... It's getting, it's getting hit. hit. I also don't want to... Ooh, I can't let gravity affect me too much or that's it. And it's over. Oh, I did not expect you to come out of that alive. <sighs> Neither did you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hooray! Fucking thank God. Now, there's no time limit, so I technically could take forever on this. But your bonus... No, no, no there, there is a time limit. Oh, you mean like... Uh... Specifically. Uh-huh. One minute and nine seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna... I've still got two lives. If I can get this guy on the way by... I didn't. I gotta hang out around him now. <sighs> Fucking dicks! Dicks fuck! Fucking dicks. Dicks fuck. Now, you heard it here first, folks. Dicks fuck. To be fair, uh, they do. I mean... That is, that is how they work. Oh, those aren't gonna f go far enough, are they? Nope. I, dang it, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna see it. Can I, can I have one more shot? Nope. One more shot. Nope. I get one more shot. At the first level, because you have 27 seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna, I can do it, I can do it. I've been training all my life for this one moment, Daniel. 20 seconds. Well, good news, I've already lost one life. All right, so since the people aren't going to see, probably, because I'm probably not going to make it, um, if you beat this level, you get a huge fucking bonus. And, uh... Like, at work? Yeah, no, your boss comes home and he's like, your boss comes to work, he's like, so I hear you did real good in Gravatar. Here's your Gravatar bonus. And you're like, I didn't even know we had one of those. And he's like, yeah, I know, it's super rare. It's because your boss, your boss is the person who's, uh, who uh, Gravatar is his favorite game. So, uh, y we were talking smack about, go uh, about Gravatar. Gravatar and Gorf are close enough that I just called them, uh, the same. I just said, uh, Gorf in instead of Gravatar. Oh, <gasps> I got it. Oh, shit, Daniel. Do you think? No. You know what I could use? Hmm. A little bit of confidence in me. Just, just a teeny tiny bit. A little bit. I'm sure someone in our audience is confident in you. Daniel? Yeah? First of all, we'd need an audience. <laughs> Second of all, uh, no. Okay. Nope, angle's wrong. You know what would make this game better? If you could a fire- A different game? Well, yes, obviously. Now, hang on a second. I was all excited because that gun wasn't shooting at me, but now it is again. Join us next time when we play another game. What game? I don't remember. Okay, I made dang and let me try one more time. And so now, if I don't fuck this up, if I don't fuck this <laughs> up, Daniel, what if I fuck this up? Well, then you're a fuck up. Oh, I made dang and let me try one more time, and here we go. This is it. Okay, did it. Mission complete. I can just leave now. Okay, so when you beat that, um, you fly out, and you get a huge super bonus. So now I have, I got an extra life, which is nice, but I also got like, I have 19,000 points now, which believe it or not is, oh yeah, now everything's also way harder too. So you remember how when you were playing I this? Did, there were only two. There were only two. Now it's all mega crazy. So that's how you, if you wanna, if you wanna get a high score in fucking Gravatar, that's kind of the only way. Also the gravity gets more aggressive. Like, this game is a fuck. It's too hard. It's stupid. And I wanted to show everyone how crazy it gets after it's already crazy. See, now I have the high fucking, the high score. And you know what I think about that? I think my name is Space Base A. No, it's Space AA. Oh, you're right. It's Space AA. It's so Space A. <laughs> space -a. I'm Space A. All right, so that's Gravatar. Fuck this game and fuck you if you like it. I'd, actually, I'm sorry. I'd like to just take that back. I don't. Fuck you if you like this game.
I'm doubling down on aggression. Did that. Ah, I found a flaw in your strategy. Oh, hey, they turned into cake. I think. Is that cake? See if you can get the cake. No. Well, hey, hey there, Internet. My name is Tom. And I'm Daniel. And we are brothers. We're going to play some games for you. Uh, we figured we would start this series off with uh, just an old game that we both played. When